Hello, hello, hello. Here it comes again. We are at EclipseCon in Germany and I went with Max. Hello, Max. Hello, hello, everyone. It's nice to see you here. Nice to see you, Max. Yeah, oh, great. So brave. <laughs> so, uh, you up today here? Sorry, yesterday? Yeah. About... Oh, I, I speak about Geno Jakarta Rosico and Jakarta Data specification <laughs> i never heard about it. oh what really i believe in you i believe in you <laughs> <laughs> oh it's uh the both bo specifications is pretty uh it's amazing because you can work with no sql integration in your job application so i think uh it's amazing one uh i love to work on that uh, and and uh yesterday i did a talk showing the features showing how to configure, how to create an entity, just using the specification, uh, everything held by Geno SQL implementation, that is a reference implementation about that. Oh, nice. But what's the main difference between those specifications? I mean, what's the main difference between Jakarta NoSQL and Jakarta Data? Okay, Geno C uh, Jakarta NoSQL is focused on to uh, make able the developers to work with a uh, NoSQL database. So you annotate your module, de define what is the, the ID, uh, ID field, what fields needs to be stored. You just annotate, it's pretty similar to Jakarta Persistence, and uh, it will be uh, automatically, based on the implementation, you will store it in a specific uh, database, NoSQL. It's an amazing one. Oh. And the <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, Jakarta data is focused on, on a way to, to, to store data, but uh, Jakarta data uh, intends to bring you a uh, specific uh, pattern. It's focused on uh, repository pattern from DDD and from Eric Evans. So actually, you are trying to, to bring uh, your code nearest to the business instead of to just focus on a database syntax, for example, insert, update, and so on, because it's very far away from the business, uh, you can use this, inter this specification to be closer to the business. And uh, behind the scenes, you can store uh, on J Jakarta persistence, on NoSQL persist, so any kind of source code. So it's a very amazing one. Oh, nice. You also mentioned a new product that is continuous feedback, right? Yeah, yeah, I did it. Uh, yeah, I actually, I, I, I try to, to, to show to the people how important it is to know how those things work in our application. Continuous feedback is a, is a specific uh, way to, to, to get feedback from your application. Uh, Digma is a specific platform that you can use in your ID. You just install it and uh, it will get the information from your application in the development time. So when you are working in our machine, you can test, run the test, and so on, you are learning how to think work. It will detect any kind of issues if you have, for example, any plus one carries issues, so it can detect it. You can detect it how, oh, this method is, is taking time more than it should, so you can, uh, abstract the thing and of course it will help the developer because it will make give the opportunity to developers to learn more about the code and improve their career as well so i think everything is a good shape for them so jakarta no sql jakarta data geno sql continuous feedback yeah more about java in a single place thank you at oh thanks very much bye bye <laughs>